freaking tired this morning. It's day three of trying to get this truck up and running. It's still up at the Walmart, up in the Poconos. We're gonna see what we can do today. So, first things first, gotta get coffee. Then, instead of working on it up in the Walmart parking lot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a tow dolly on the back of this uh, expedition that, that we're running. And we're gonna tow the truck back here to Allentown. Um, and then we're gonna work on it some more. So this should be fun. Oh, oh man, I need coffee. I need coffee or else I'm gonna die. Are you getting coffee? No. Coffee. Oh, I got Cuban roast this time. And Guatemala. You need pegs now or later? Um, I'm good right now. There you go, yeah. Alright, we're out with the manual. Holy shit, everybody's freaking out here getting. Gas. Well, everybody's. Even, there's no. There's like nowhere to park. I mean, Everybody there's like two spots gas. over here. Oh yeah, including me. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> so where are you gonna get that um, tow hitch? Are you rent it at U-Haul. They have one. Oh, well, not tow hitch. The um, tow dolly. Tow dolly. The tow Barbie. Oh, so it's a Barbie doll. Only it just comes with one tow. With us, we have a special guest. <laughs> and when I mean special, I mean. Special. <laughs> as big as this uh, SUV is, parked right next to a Mini, and I mean, just look at the comparison. Minis, this Mini looks even smaller compared to this. Yeah, we're out here at U-Haul. We're getting a tow dolly, and hopefully, we got to find um, a good way home because it's either the highway or a really curvy road. And you know, we're gonna be towing a truck behind us, which isn't exactly light. So we're not sure if it's safer to just put on the flashers and go slow on the highway or still go down the curvy road. I don't know. We're gonna have to find out in the next few minutes of this episode of Neo Ghost. I like this color, it's like a shiny dark gray, but the shiny paint kind of reminds me of. When you go to the fair, there's like certain rides that are shiny coated in paint like that. Uh huh. I found the hidden cup holder. Where, wherever else would there be a cup holder except on the floor connected to your door. But that's for sure. It seems like being this low would be a chore to get your soda cup of 44 ounces. All right, I think I ruined it on that one, but. Yep, I don't know why there would be a couple that are down here, but there's one there. there, there oh, there's one over there too. There's these two right here. There's those two. There's two in the back on that side. There's two on that side, but there's none for this middle row. She's stupid. Huh. Oh, Emma left her car mix in here, but we're not in a car. We're in a truck. We're in an SUV. Somebody walking behind us wouldn't know that we're able uh, to see them. But nobody's walking behind us. Okay, got the tow dolly. Everything's all hooked up. And then up here you have the world's largest American flag. That's American. America! That sounds like a train. Yeah. Oh. Over here you got Lehigh Valley International Airport. Where's 
close to the airport. And over here is the Sears warehouse where we get to pick up new shit and drop off old shit and shit and shit. Prisoners are up to. Up is playing basketball. Oh, there's men. Men's there too. Sometimes we're out here in their uh, their striped shirts, cutting the grass, but they're not really doing much. Today. be an old resort sign if it'll you can kind of see it but it's like torn down Tannersville I thought it was Sunburnersville they have all kinds of slides and stuff and they even have like a little what looks like an outdoor section Something going on here at Lowe's. There's balloons. Is somebody having a birthday party? Looks like they got some more stuff out here. They all kinds of Halloween stuff out here. Ooh, I love this time of year. I don't know why. I don't know if this is decorations or the time of the year feel or not, but I don't know. His name is Bones. He never got good grades because he dropped out of school. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with his job? I don't know if that's hilarious or, or scary. Wow. There's the truck again. Did you have a nice time at Walmart? Are you ever going to come back? There's a sensor and it's, it's reading it's reading the trailer as something so what do you want to just push the truck right onto it then yeah We just gotta get this strap around the tire. Like that, and then, and then it just ratchets, ratchets right in. chains hooked up. Now he's gonna put it in neutral and we can get this thing going. That was work out of the century. Giant Ad Adirondack chair or yo Adrian deck. Can you swim in that? It's probably E. coli in oh, it. No, you can swim in it. You can, yeah. I don't know which one of them has E. coli. I know one of them one of them around here has E. coli. Well there's that too, but so you could probably swim in it. They, they'll have danger signs saying, you know, eco warning E. coli 
lake closed, but I think that was just in one of the uh, one of the gated communities. I think it was like just like a small lake. So we're we're taking this truck to to a high mountain over or basically to a cliff, and then we're just gonna push it off, right? Pretty much. Yeah. That's what we got the to, that's what we got the the tow dolly for. Push it off a cliff. Here's the dirt bike track. At, yeah, they they had a tropical bouncy house. Huh. Nobody's, nobody's dirt biking right now. Not yet. Oh, yeah, somebody lost oh, a bunch of paint. Holy crap. They must have had a field day with that paint. Oh, it took all that effort. Now we're at Mount Effort. The fucking truck is still tailgating us. What the hell? It's following us all the way home. What an asshole driver. There's some blue and pink trees up here. Yeah, they like painted them. Yeah. There's all kinds of different colors. Philadel? Is that like an infidel? Yeah. Only in Philly? We have a row of cars behind us. Trail of cars. They're like, oh, just pull over, goddammit. Why are you going under the speed limit? Oh, oh, thank God. He said something, I don't know if he said thank you. There's hardly a trail of cars, too. Oh, there's only two, huh? And one, only one of them was a car. Wow, this Niku Goes is going downhill. Wow. A couple of roosters over there. There's some cock at that house. <laughs> Roosters. Oh, there's one over there too. There's one right there. Hanging out by the fence. He's like, he's like, what are you guys doing? You want some cock? Isn't that what the horse says? Any cock will do? That guy's over there. Oh, there's this guy over on this side over here. They're fighting. You mean there's a good old-fashioned cockfight out here? They're competing against each other. No, my feathers are better. No, mine are. Mine are. Then this guy down here, he's like, no. Mine are. Come on, guys, break it up. We all know I'm the best. You think those steps are made out of vinyl? <laughs> <laughs> There's an old uh, Sprite sign up here. It said Sunday drags. Well, if you're not doing anything on a Sunday, of course it's gonna drag. Oh, is he coming back up? Up oh, there he goes. He's coming back up. Uh, you should have drifted. <laughs> now he looks like a lawnmower. He's riding on the grass. America. Where are the cows at? Oh, there they are down there. Aww. What? What did one cow say to the other cow? Mm. Move over! You're on my calf. Red covered bridge. When I said Nico goes is going downhill, I meant going downhill. And up here we have the curve of doom. Or death. Or the curve of doom death. Well, it's not like... We're going slow, so it's not, not as G-force. But it is super curved when you're going down here at like 40 miles an hour. Well, 45. 60. Yeah, so more like 60. <laughs> and 
up here is that abandoned mini golf course again. Ooh, let's play mini golf there. This freaking truck, blue truck is still tailgating us. Going into Top Star. Gonna see if they have any wieners in here. I don't have any hot dogs, but I am gonna grab grab pumpkin pie. Sure. Grab that one. Caramel apple as well. They're two for two dollars. So got the tasty cakes, and I got four of these Cheyenne snack sticks, which are actually pretty good. They're towing the car too. It towing an SUV with an SUV. We're towing a pickup truck with an SUV. Yeah. Drive in, tell her. Well, where's Penn? Penn tell does all. Penn does all the talking. What do you want to tell her? Yeah. What do you want to tell her? Tell her. I hardly even knew her. Now the real challenge is I'm parking this son of a bitch. Well, I'm gonna reverse it right back up into there, and we're gonna drop it. Yeah, I guess so. This should be fun. So, as you saw, that, that trailer kept turning. It's not, the truck's not turning enough for us to be able to get in here. So we're gonna have to drop it and push it in. We got the truck pulled in, pushed the truck in, and I had to park this truck on an angle in order to fit it in this spot. So we're gonna have to figure something out later, but, we're gonna go drop this off and go to AutoZone or something, try to get some some parts for the truck. Wish back on the low motor. Yeah. Back at U-Haul. It's a bird! It's a plane! No! It, it is a plane. Oh, now it's time to fix the... Try to put the radiator in. Uh, whoa. We cut that off right about here. We're gonna hack into this shit. So, um... Yeah, um... Pretty much what was, uh, yeah, I can't even talk right now. What else was new? Pretty much, there was a pipe. There was a pipe under here, right? Same thing as this one, came out connected. Um, we we're gonna put this hose on the end of it. We put fittings on, where are they now? So we can connect it to that hose, connect that back into this hose right here. No, not that hose. Oh, this hose right here. And pretty much everything was gonna be done. We're gonna put the radiator back in, everything's gonna be fine and dandy, but you know what? This piece that was coming out from underneath there broke off, probably on the ride down. And now we're having fun. We're having even more fun. I mean, we're not in a Walmart parking lot anymore, so it's not as fun, but <laughs> yeah, this truck is possessed. No, it's not possessed. It's cursed. This truck is cursed. And I really do think that he's going to take a sledgehammer to it before we scrap it. I mean, can't we just run it like this? I mean, it can't run like that. Why can't we just drive this thing? No, but seriously. <sighs> We were going to be done with this today, and we're probably going to be done with this today. Oh, I just fucking jinxed it. Wow. I just jinxed it. But he went to go get some more fittings and another hose, and hopefully, hopefully we can solve this freaking mess. We have an audience. They're all getting their concessions. There's a lot of freaking birds out here. 
They're all fat too. Well, and here goes Joe doing the, the shit and spin again. You have fun, Joe. You have fun. <laughs> I was able to get that right down there. Put a hose on with two hose clamps. I was able to get that on. And then we were able to reassemble everything back together. Now he's going to pour some antifreeze in and the moment of truth. Oh, so far so good. It's not freaking taking a leak anymore. All right, the moment of truth. Yeah, put the cap on. Oh, you know. Oh, I got my photo. I had to go down and get more of these. Boom! Oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, there. You don't want to hit that radiator with the axe? It's leaking. It's leaking? What's leaking? Oh, look. So it's no longer leaking out of this side, but when you step out of the, on the gas, out of one of these little, like the same thing as before on the side, step on the gas and it just fits right out. <laughs> We're gonna have to get some anti-leak shit once again. So we got absolutely nowhere basically with it. I'm gonna show you what it's doing when you step on the gas. Oh, there's nothing else to do except what you see in this picture. I'm gonna ask this radiator a question. Ow, my leg! Take that, radiator. I'm asking it a question. What? He's gonna need it later, you dumbass. What? What if he's gonna need it later? Are you kidding me? It's the dead one. Yeah. Go on then, if that makes you happy. Okay. Uh, the dogs are not impressed with I let all my aggression out. I gotta save some for him when he gets back. I asked that radiator a question. This is a true temper axe. Take your temper out on that radiator by axing it a question. Okay, alright, all right, I'm done. I'm done before I become an axe murderer of death. He poured some more of this stuff with the uh, pellets in it again. Now we gotta put more radiator fluid, antifreeze into it. And then we got some of this stuff, which is similar to the silver stuff, but this is copper. Really not sure how much more, how much better this stuff is or not, but we'll have to find out. Oh. Oh, there goes a bottle down there. Hopefully that stuff did work, because... Yeah, I don't see anything coming out anymore. We're gonna let the pressure build up a little bit. Can't really see it that much, but it is coming right out of there. Poured that stuff in. Not sure how much different this is than the silver stuff. Test run. Is it coming out anymore? I really don't want to have to do another day of this, yeah. Yep, it's still coming out. I mean, it wasn't coming out as bad as it was before exactly, but. 
Not sure what's gonna happen now. I don't know if maybe it'll be miraculously fixed in the morning. Uh, that I have no clue, but this is bullshit. Yep, more and more than but bullshit. It's butt shit. Bollocks. Human shit.